Books, books, I like books. I'm going to read them all. Hi readers, Chris here. Welcome to my channel where I review a fantasy, Stephen King, all sorts of books. And today I'm going to be talking about a middle grade fantasy, The Capture. This is the first book in the Guardians of Gahul series by Catherine Lasky. And yes, this is an older book, but I thought it was a great time to read it last month. Like I always do, I'm going to talk about world building characters and plot, but here's just a quick setup in case you are not familiar with the Guardians of Gahul. This is a middle grade fantasy adventure story. It's only book one in a series, and yes, there was a movie that came out back in the early 2000s, an animated movie. So this book is all about owls, and there is a young owl, or owlette as they call them, named Soren. He gets separated from his family one day. He gets taken to this strange place and he finds out that other baby owls are being kidnapped from their family and something sinister is going on, something that's going to affect all of the owl kingdom. That's really all you need to know going into this book. Like, it's a very short book. It's very simple. It's meant for younger readers, but it, it's actually super cute, super cute. So let's talk about the world building of the Guardians of Gahul. I love the world building of this book. As you know, I'm a big fantasy lover, so of course I love fantasy. And any good fantasy book needs to have strong world building. And this book definitely has it. Not only is it like a fun world, this world of owls and owl kingdoms, but this book has so many like actual owl facts in it, like actual owl facts. Just do a quick swipe of the, the map right here. But the book actually goes like in depth into detail about like how owls digest their food, the different types of feathers that owls grow to help them, you know, learn how to fly or do certain things, uh, the way that they don't chew, the way that they swallow things. Like, there are so many owl facts in this book that I actually felt like I was learning something while I was reading, which I thought was super fun. And I could definitely see why this type of story would be so entertaining for younger readers, because it was entertaining for me. Now let's talk about our characters, starting with our main character, Soren. Soren is our main character, so the plot of the book is basically told through his perspective. So he gets separated from his family very early on in the book, and he ends up in this, you know, this weird owl orphanage that's being run by quote-unquote evil owls. I think Soren is a fantastic character. First of all, in terms of like him being an owl, it's funny because they explain in the book that like he's actually only like a few months old. However, because owls have a different, you know, timeline than humans, I'd say he's about like 10, 12-ish, maybe a bit younger, but he's old enough to be able to, like, find his own food and eat, but he's not old enough where he hasn't learned how to fly yet. But he's also super smart, so he knows right away that something is going on, that, that something is wrong. Um, he knows that there's weird stuff going on at this orphanage. He knows he needs to figure things out. And he's also just like a really nice owl. He is nice to the other owl, baby owls that he meets at the orphanage. He's nice to his older brother, who's kind of a jerk. He's a great role model to his younger sister. He's the middle child in his family of owls, but he doesn't seem like the typical middle child, if you know what I mean. During his time spent at the Owl Orphanage, he does meet a number of other characters, uh, my personal favorite being Gilfie. Now, Gilfie is a different type of owl than Soren. She is like a small, tiny little like wood owl, where Soren is more of a barn owl, so he has a bit of a bigger build. But Sylphie is like very, uh, very small. She's very small, but that also means she's very like spunky. It's been a while since I've seen the movie, so I cannot remember which characters were in the movie or which ones were not, but I assume Gilfie must have been because she's a huge character in this book. She basically becomes Soren's sidekick while they're at the orphanage. She's the only person at first who, like, knows that there's something going on and 
Soren and Gilfie work together to try and figure out ways to kind of not only break free, but like figure out what's going on. Because again, I'll talk about this a little bit in the plot, but through most of the book, they really have no idea what's going on. There are a number of other characters in the book, but most of them have very, I guess, short appearances. There are even characters that aren't owls, like there's a snake character that makes an appearance in the beginning and the end of the book. But for the majority of the story, it is Soren and Gilfie and those two. None of the character, none of the other characters get as much attention as these two. So now let's get into the plot of the book. So I really liked the world building, I really liked the characters, but the plot is where I struggled with this book a little bit. And yes, I have to keep it in my mind that this book is meant for younger readers. However, I did have some issues with the plot and I'll tell you why. On one hand, the plot is really fun. It's a fun adventure tale. There's kind of this mystery at the center. What's going on with these owls? Are they going to get out? Are they going to get free? What's going on? So all that part was really fun. Young owl on an adventure, like that part of the book is fun. However, like I said, the majority of the book takes place with Soren and Gilfie at this owl orphanage. And as of the end of this book, book one, they don't really find out, like, what is going on. Like, yes, they know that, like, owls are being taken from their family, baby owls are being taken from the family, but they never really figure out why. They never really figure out, like, what is the ultimate goal of this bad group of owls. They never really figure that out by the end of this book, which is kind of annoying. And I recognize that this is only book one in a series that has 15 books, but I do like my stories to have a complete beginning, middle, and end, and this book does not. This book has a beginning and a middle, and then it just kind of leaves off, and you really have to pick up the other books to find out what happens next. There is no ending to the story in this book. So if you pick this one up, I would definitely recommend at least having book two, if not more, if you want to read this series, because this book really just ends. It just ends. Things happen, they kind of reach a crescendo, and then the book just ends. It just cuts off. And again, I like my books, I like my stories to have a complete beginning, middle, and end. So because this book did not have that, um, that kind of made it a little bit less exciting for me, a little bit annoying for me, and I don't have the rest of these books, like, so I, I didn't know going in that I would, that it would end like that, that I would need them, and I don't have any other plans to pick up um, any more of the books anytime soon. I think if I found them, like, maybe at a library sale, bargain book hunting, I might pick them up, uh, but I'm probably not going to run out to buy them. So for me, I just kind of have to accept the fact that I'm really not going to know how this story ends, most likely. So just to wrap this all up, this is a great adventure story. The owls are fun characters. You learn things about owls, and I could see younger readers really enjoying this one. However, as a more mature reader myself, um, there were some things missing in here from a story structure that I personally would like to see in the book. So I am kind of neutral about this one. There are things about it that I liked, but there are also things about it that I did not like. So I don't know if that's going to help you decide whether you want to read the capture or not, but hopefully it did. And if you have read this book already, if you have read anything in this series, let me know in the comments below what you thought about it. Did you like learning the owl facts? Were you annoyed at the way it ended? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, please subscribe to my channel for more bookish stuff coming your way soon. All right, everyone. Happy reading.